today's talk is breaking sanity without insanity. And so what is implied here is not that we're breaking something <laughs> that we shouldn't. When man looks at sanity and he looks at insanity, we do not want to question insanity until very, of course, respectfully, the institutions that define insanity are also questioned. And so this is not a questioning for a sense of change that is changing from one idea to another. We are in a sense recognizing that man is being conducted by the institutions of his creation, but also the institutions of the creation of the world. And so you must recognize that nature is blended in the systems of man's design. But as man progresses from this design, sanity is not just an objective uh, judgment. We are not saying that guy's insane because of that. Consciousness is not uh, shaped because it is the shapeless awareness to shape. When you look at that geometry, when you look at that tree, you are observing that tree. You are not that tree. And so when you can observe yourself, you are not the self you thought you were. You are not the limitation and insanity was the fear of a blind man. For the man who walks with eyes open, the man who trusts his moment, the man who trusts his life, who trusts everything that is given to you, you cannot go wrong. Walk gracefully, walk with the knowing of this is why you were made. This is why every human being has existed to shape you. So you can communicate through this shape. Do not waste your time in thinking that time is nothing to explore and you just have a certain uh, amount here. Do change the story, transcend the character that feels it cannot discover the storyteller. Recognize the storyteller's intelligence was present in the character and guess what? There is always inspiration in the heart of man. Because your heart is what is constantly inspired to beat. It is doing the work even when you feel you cannot. And so I hope no human being will ever be disrespectful to their physical heart, to their body that is keeping them alive by getting rid of life without understanding it. You are in an opportunity, an existential opportunity. What that means is you have come here and you have got self-awareness. In other words, you are aware to objects. Some animals are aware of themselves, but they're not aware of other. Man is aware of other. Man has vision. Vision is man's greater being. And so sanity does not become something where your attitudes and your externality has to change. When it is suggested breaking, that is in other words transcending, seeing what more there is than what we are considering to be normal. Why is that person strange? Why is that part of the world odd? Why does these ideas not make sense make sense? Man must go into profound question to then discover the presence of the answer. For he is relying his answers on words and words could never uh, say it all. When I looked at certain ancient Vedic literature and I saw how they were looking at how the world is kept and how the world is present. I noticed that any book I'm reading is human interpretation, but how much am I being inspired by the ideas? So what that means is there is nothing that you are following that is not beautiful for you. When it's beautiful, you follow it just like the elegance of a girl who has smiled at you or the elegance of a moment where there has been the reunion of your awareness beyond an individual consciousness with all that is, in which that is when life smiles at you. <laughs> and so you're, you are continuously inspired. Inspiration cannot begin for you if you do not create space. Space for man is being for now created by his consideration. Within your consideration there is conditioning. Conditioning is how you have experienced life in a certain way, but there are more ways to experience. And so you, for you to rationalize, to only use that amount of knowledge when all knowledge seems to be right here, you must choose to approach life differently. Your vision must change. Clarity is nothing that needs to suggest that you are insane. 
Insanity is just how an objective uh, phenomena occurs and is interpreted by the crowd. For I know that if you went to a bunch of people who didn't speak the same language as you and you started talking to them saying something, they'll probably be like, oh man, this guy's crazy. Because there is not an acceptance of reality. And so when society is accepting a certain way of being a certain norm, there are many people who are passing by and they're like, there is such potential here in this cultural phenomena, but why is it being prevented from an existential compassion that is naturally within man? For it is the imagery that is also defining man's nature. What that means is you might be a very nice person and then suddenly you go into turmoil. Life takes you to behind the scenes and it shows you the rough aspects of it. And when you begin to see this roughness, you are gifted with the awareness of presence in new realities. Honor the moment you are and allow yourself to see all possibilities of existence looking at the impossible. You know? Because I know in the lives of many people, in the lives of many, many who have also succeeded and achieved, there was a moment in their life where they were introduced to their craft and they had no idea how to do it. And they went there, they even failed so bad. They're like, gosh, life, really? This? <laughs> and so it, it's, there's something that happens when you're pushed. You feel that you have now an ability to pull yourself somewhere. And so that kid who failed, he was gifted with a reality and projection of how he is to be. If you want to really understand your child, look at how he is creating his memory in the present moment. Allow beings to be and learn from the intelligence that is simply in the presence of that which you're considering. For as you learn from that which is within another, you immediately come to uh, new configurations of how existence should be for you. Honor yourself, carry the torches of those behind us, but also remember that you're here to show your flame as well. Man could never be blind, for sight was existence. around. There never was such a thing as weight.